for this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Cushing's examination. So after washing my hands, introducing myself and making sure the patient is stable, uh, I'll move on to the vital signs. Uh, so I would ask for a set of vitals and things that you can note uh, is findings of hypertension due to the increased sodium retention. Uh, after that, I would do a mental status examination, uh, looking for signs of depression, um, psychosis, flat affect. Uh, you can see also um, uh, labile uh, emotions as well. Uh, from there, I'll move on to just general inspection. Uh, so things to note uh, is just a central obesity. Uh, and so patients will have uh, increased uh, central obesity, but to note, uh, although they have, can have some uh, weight gain, uh, you won't uh, generally see uh, um, overt obesity uh, just from Cushing's alone. Uh, in terms of measuring this, if you can just stand up for me. Um, so you can measure uh, the waist to hip ratio. Uh, so measuring at the... Uh, at the hips, uh, you measure at the, actually the widest portion uh, around and getting the circumference of that. Uh, and then you get the circumference of the waist. Uh, there's two ways of measuring that. Um, one way is you actually palpate uh, for the lowest rib space and then uh, the top of the iliac crest. Uh, and then you go halfway between that and measure there. Uh, the other way of measuring it is actually measuring the uh, narrowest distance um, of the uh, waist. Uh, a waist to hip ratio greater than one uh, in men and greater than 0.85 in uh, females is a positive finding. Uh, from there, just looking at uh, fat redistribution, uh, you can look for signs of moon facies. Uh, you can sit back down. Sorry. So moon facies, uh, so that's bitemporal fat pads. Uh, so in generalized obesity, the fat distribution is usually lower down on the face, uh, whereas with cushions, it's higher up. Uh, so ways to actually examine for that is you can look at the patient straight on um, and looking at the bitemporal fat pads, if that has been increased. And with that, that'll actually obscure your view of the tragus uh, bilaterally. Uh, from there, you can look um, at the back. Uh, there is the dorsal cervical fat pads, which is between the scapulas. Um, and then there's also super uh, scapular fat pad redistribution. And then last, you can look for a dewlaps collar, um, which is anterior to the sternum additional fat pad distribution. Lastly, just on general inspection, you can look for signs of proximal muscle uh, kind of atrophy um, from the myopathy. So you might see kind of squaring of the shoulders as well. Uh, from there, moving on uh, to the face, uh, starting off with just the eyes in terms of ocular findings that you can look for. Um, you can see uh, bitemporal uh, hemianopsia, uh, which is uh, caused by uh, potential pituitary adenoma compressing on the optic chiasm. Uh, so to examine for this, if you can just uh, look this way at me. and then if you could cover up one eye and I'll get level with the person um, and then halfway point if you can just tell me when you can see my fingers okay 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 and I would do this bilaterally as well to look for um, and so you'll see actually the lateral portions of the vision uh, might be obscured uh, if there was any kind of pituitary adenoma uh, other ocular findings that you can look for uh, is for signs of cataracts, signs of glaucoma, and then you can use a ophthalmoscope uh, to look inside uh, the retina and uh, looking for any signs of uh, papilledema from pseudotumor cerebri. From there, uh, looking at the face, you can note just facial plethora and just redness. Uh, you can see signs of increased acne, acne and you can also see hirsutism. Um, and so you can see for facial growth um, over uh, facial hair growth as well. I will get you to open up your mouth as well, and then just looking in for any signs of oral thrush uh, due to the immunodeficiency. Uh, from there, moving on, if this was uh, a male, uh, you can look for uh, signs of gynecomastia. Um, so with getting the patient, um, if you are just able to lie down for me, So the way you would examine for this, if you can just put one hand head behind, so you get the person to put one head behind, and you actually pitch, pinch at the areolar region, um, and you feel for increased glandular tissue. Um, if the glandular tissue is increased by greater than 0.5 centimeters, that's a positive finding. Um, so in terms of generalized obesity, you'll just see increased uh, fat distribution there, and so you'll just feel the smooth fat tissue. Uh, whereas with gyno true gynecomastia, you'll actually feel the glandular tissue underneath the areolar region. Uh, in terms of the abdominal examination, uh, you'll just do some deep palpation, uh, and this is feeling for any kind of abdominal masses uh, that could be uh, secreting in any kind of adrenal secretions. Uh, and then 
moving on from there, uh, just in terms of dermatological findings, uh, I can note uh, abdominal stri, uh, which is stress marks, um, normally in um, areas of tension. So you often see that in uh, the abdominal region and the axilla region. Um, they are deep, uh, deep stretch marks, uh, greater than one centimeter, um, violaceous in description, and thin-skinned underneath. Um, and so you can note that. Um, and then other things to note uh, on the skin, uh, you can see increased ecchymosis, uh, telangiectasias, uh, and then uh, you can also examine the skin if you can sit back up for me. Um, you can note some uh, thin skin as well, and technically this is only a positive finding in a premenopausal woman, um, but you can do skin palisers to measure for a thin skin as well. Uh, Lastly, uh, you can note uh, for any kind of intertrigus uh, candida from uh, immunodeficiency. The last part of the examination is just examining for any kind of proximal muscle weakness uh, due to myopathy is. Um, so if you can just hold your arm up for me, push against on the other side, push against, and then if you can just cross your arms and stand up for me, and this is just a general test for looking at any kind of proximal muscle weakness. And that concludes my question. Oh. Uh, the last part um, that you can note as well is any kind of uh, virilization. So I already noted in kind of hirsutism, um, you can see male pattern baldness, uh, deep voice, and you can also note any kind of clitoromegaly. Uh, and then that would conclude my examination.